Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's big question is, are we going to see upgrade packs or player picks for ultimate team of the season? With the best of the best team of the season cards in packs, we're hoping for some sort of good upgrade today so that we can have another shot at packing some of these ultimate tots cards. So I'm going to take a look at that potential, take a look at what they dropped last year. And of course, since it's Monday, we expect some sort of upgrade pack. They've been dropping like two, three, four different types of packs or player picks every single week. So we're hoping that that continues. And I have a couple ideas of what they maybe could do. And I also want to take a look at some pack code because there might be some more interesting SBCs dropping today based off of what they did last year because again we talked about it on the weekend and even during last week as of right now i still don't think we're going to see an ultimate tots guaranteed pack and i think ea has a couple sbcs that will replace that if you will uh, and those might come today as early as today if we would see those uh twice this week i bet they would come today so we'll talk about the potential of that and of course the market is rising with the moments player pick that was dropped yesterday. A lot of the SBC fodder market is starting to rise, but so are your team of the season cards basically. And we'll discuss it in a second, but what's happened is the panic selling and the supply kind of met at a cusp and at a point, I guess you will, right? At a valley maybe is the better way to talk about it because prices were down and now they're starting to rebound back up because the panic is ending. People are going out and buying saying these cards got way too cheap and they're not running the late night lightning rounds and it's Sunday. So the lightning rounds are ending in general, at least until later on in the week. And so those cards are starting to rise back up. Now, I still think they could go further and we'll talk more about that in today's video as well. So if you're excited for some sort of upgrade pack today, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at starting off with this player pick or upgrade pack SBC potential for today. Now, last year, I want to take a look at last year just to kind of get an idea of what they did for Ultimate Tots. Last year, they did an 82 to 88 upgrade, which is pretty standard. We see that this year too, like every single week. Not very many people do those. And then we had an 80 plus player pick. This was a big L last year because of course, just like we've had this year in FIFA 22, we had, we had a lot of good upgrade SBCs where there was like league specific player picks or league specific like double upgrades and stuff like that released during some of the leagues for team of the season. And then during ultimate last year, EA just dropped an 80 plus player pick, which would be terrible this year if they did that, right? Well, we just had an 82 plus player pick last week that everybody was super excited about and they actually were really good. And I also want you guys to remember the 82 plus player pick that I saved up a bunch of to open this last Friday when ultimate tots came out. Ultimate team of the season cards, were coming they were coming out of those packs those player picks they were popping if you you know not super crazy high numbers like during league one team of the season or anything like that but there there was a potential to pack them so that's all i'm saying is that if they drop that 82 plus player pick again which in my opinion would be the most likely upgrade pack uh, that we could see for today would be an 80, 82 plus player pick re-released, same one as last week. Uh, that would be a pretty hype SBC and that would allow us to craft a lot this week as well and just give us a nice player pick SBC that we could do stock up on and do multiple times over and over and over just to feel like we have a shot, a decent shot at packing ultimate Tots players. And that's really what's going to make today hype. If they drop, you know, a player pick like the 82 plus and if they drop some sort of like efigs upgrade pack i think there's got to be some efigs pack in there that's repeatable whether it's like an 80 plus times two maybe like an 80 plus times like a one of four player pick that's efigs like there's potential for another player pick of that sort of realm today too that'd be pretty high because that would make us feel like we have a pretty good shot at packing cards in the ultimate team of the season because of course it would be giving e figs so it'd be giving all of these cards since all of these cards are from the top five leagues that would be a great pack or player pick that they could drop today as well if you're wanting to get ready to stock up on whatever player pick's going to drop today if you want a full send my best advice would be go out and buy rare golds and non-rares uh, because if you guys remember last week uh, the 82 plus player pick required six rares and 11 golds in general. So rares and non-rares, if that 82 plus does come back out, I think would go up just a little bit. Um, I don't know if they would go as high as we've seen them go in previous weeks, uh, especially because it's going to be still hard to pack these ultimate tots cards, but that'd be kind of a way that you could prepare for those SBCs today. You know, 
especially with my kind of coin total, I'm going to be going after upgrade packs today, whatever they are. We're still going to open a lot of those uh, because I want to complete. I have to finish the Maria. We're getting more end of an era SBCs that could be coming out later on this week. We still haven't seen the Mark Noble. Uh, we had the Schmelzer yesterday. Uh, maybe I'll get that one done, but I'm almost done with the Maria and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing upgrade packs this week for sure. And I think a lot of you guys would at least want to take a shot at it, right? You never know. Open a few upgrades, see what happens and go from there. So, you know, that's the main part of the upgrade packs that I would expect for today. Some sort of player pick, hopefully some sort of e-figs pack. And then I want to take a look at some pack code because I think there's potential for EA. There's two little two things of pack code that I want to look at here. There's a couple other SBCs that might be dropping today as a part of Ultimate Tots. This is the first one. We've already seen these two. The Essentials pack was the token pack in the store. The 84 plus E-Figs was a lightning round pack. But I don't believe we've seen this yet. And it's not inside of the, the Ultimate Cup uh, objective rewards. And I'm pretty sure this was not in the store. Maybe it was and I missed it. But I think this might be, you know how we had like the 80 plus times 10 for Syria or the 75 times 10 for the Lee Gun. This might be our ultimate ultimate tots like massive upgrade pack if you would call that massive i guess seven players is not that big but 80 plus e-figs times seven i think that might be an sbc today now i'm just for a second there i had the thought could this be the repeatable one i think that would be way too op uh it would probably be a pain to do because i would imagine that it'd be like an 84 85 rated squad i don't think ea wants to release that sort of sbc yet but if they did that would be crazy, um, but I think this would just be a one-time SBC non-repeatable that I think we could be seeing today in the game. Now, the other thing I want to take a look at is, of course, last year, and we talked about this in the past two weeks as well, and I've, as I mentioned in earlier this video, I'm really not expecting an Ultimate Tots Guaranteed. Last year, what they did to replace the Ultimate Tots Guaranteed was they dropped an 88-plus Tots pack, any league, any Tots player, including the lower-level leagues, so this one was cheaper. Then they also released a 90 plus deluxe TOTS upgrade SBC, which is basically a 90 plus e-figs. As you read the description, any TOTS player from Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A, or Ligue 1 rated 90 or above. Now we have two SBCs that are pretty similar to this that have been added to the code already. And that is these right here, a TOTS player pack which would be any team of the season player from any of the TOT squads, if you read right here where it says the description. And then also there's an eFigs TOTS player pack, which would be no rating cap or no rating minimum, but it would contain a top five league player uh, from any of those TOTS squads. So that, if they're going to go the same route as they did last year, we had the 88 plus TOTS upgrade and the 90 plus deluxe TOTS upgrade on Monday, the same day that we had the 80 plus player pick released as well. And then we had it again on Wednesday. So if they're going to go that same route, like I just mentioned, we might see a TOTS upgrade pack like either of these two SBCs or both of them today on Monday. Now, I'm not expecting it. I'm just talking about this really quickly to get it out there and to kind of talk about it. I think that we will see both of these, actually all three, the guaranteed Conigal pack will probably be tomorrow. Uh, but I think we'll see all of these packs at some time this week as an SBC. We've already seen the TOTS player pack. It's one of the rewards from the, ult or the Ultimate Cup objective rewards, but I think they could come as SBCs as well. So if you want to get ready for something like that, honestly, what I would do is just look at the lower tier fodder because the TOTS pack, the 88 plus TOTS pack from last year, I think was like 85 rated squad. And the 90 plus eFigs one from last year was an 87 rated squad or an 86 rated squad with a team of the week player. So I would just try to stock up on some of your like 83s to 85s, maybe some 86s would be the place on the market where I would go to look uh, if you're going to stock up on any of those things. And this is kind of transitioning into a great segue here to talk about SBC fodder for today, because of course, fodder on the lower end where we're maybe speaking about, you know, you could buy a couple of these cards to get ready if an SBC were to come today um, like that, which normally on Monday and Tuesdays, we usually see that kind of gamble pack, right? Think about the leagues that we have had. We had the 80 plus times 10. Then we had the 84 plus Serie A player pick. Those came on Monday, Tuesday, and then again on Wednesday and Thursday of last week. So it's not really a bad gamble to go out and invest in some of that lower tier fodder because with the Icon Moments player pick, again, being the exact same requirements as it was last week, 
you had all of your higher rated fodder going up and your lower rated fodder not moving. Of course, I went out and did this SBC yesterday in the blink of an eye. I got George Best, which was nice, but it seemed like the pack weight from these uh, yesterday and, and even into right now are not near as good as they were last week when it was first released. So that's a bit of a bummer, but it's still a moment's player pick. People are still going to go out and do it. I wish they would have made it repeatable twice. That way we could have done it right away and then maybe done it later on uh, in this week while doing upgrade packs or something along those lines. So I guess we'll just take a look at fodder right now and talk about it all because, of course, like I mentioned, that lower tier, I still think that 83s, 84s, 85s have the potential to rise up further on this week, especially 84s at 2K. Like what? Like that's... This is like buy 84s at 2K, put them in your club, and then you're going to be set for the next two weeks with whatever SBCs that they drop because I don't know what promo is coming after this, but if we don't have a promo this Friday and it's just going to be SBCs in the game, this fodder is going to slowly start to rise as all of the supply is ending and the demand is just going to kind of be there um, if there's not a promo. We'll see what happens, but... I think 84 is, in my opinion, the best bet. I could I could see these doubling in price. 2K to 4K is absolutely something that could happen with a lot of these 84s this week on the game. So take a look at that if you want to invest in that fodder. But the higher tier stuff, like we talked about in the last couple of days videos, this is where the big W's were. All of your higher rated fodder is going up. I remember looking at Walker Zimmerman on the videos this weekend at 30, 30, 32,000 coins. He is up 10,000 coins a card. That's where a lot of your higher tier fodder is. 91s are 40K. 92s are like 44,000 coins. 90 rateds are all like 30 to 35K. So big Ws if you bought the fodder. And as we talked about in yesterday's video as well, I think you could sell this stuff. If you don't want to hold on to it, you know, you, you may get one to two K per card extra if you wait the next four to five days if great content comes out. But this morning on Monday, uh, as people maybe get some of their weekly rewards because people still finish rewards in their weekly games on the weekend uh, and then claim their rewards, I still think you'll see some of these cards uh, at sellable prices. I really do because uh, just kind of how it's been the past couple of weeks, the higher tier stuff has not continued to go up. This week might be slightly different because there's not, you know, a lot of TOTS cards in packs pushing that fodder down. You've only got a few of the Conmebol cards in packs right now um, that are maybe pulling some of like this. You see here the cheapest 88s and 89s are these Conmebol versions. So that's not going to impact the higher tier market very much on fodder. So if you want to sell your fodder on the higher tier, I have absolutely no problem with that. So it's the lower tier is where you were really going to have to look this week and see if there's a lot of movement on it. Because again, like I mentioned, I could really see these being 86 rated squads and below. And if that's the case, even if you have to turn in a TOTS player for like the eFig TOTS player pack, if they drop that once, if they even drop it twice during the course of this week, I really think your lower tier stuff has potential to move. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, again, there's no guarantees. It, it's all coming down to EA Sports dropping this content, of course. Um, and then that's what's going to make these cards go up on the market there. So that's kind of a rundown. Also, yesterday's content, you know, the Conmebol cards are pretty cool. I have no problem with them. Some of them are not very good. It's just kind of like a normal secondary TOTS team. Of course, everybody is super duper excited for this Julian Alvarez. And his card is showing that excitement right now. He is extinct at 1.2 million coins. This card looks unbelievable, and they gave him a five-star skill boost, but 1.2 million coins, just like we've seen so many times earlier on this year. You guys remember when Darwin Nunez was extinct when he first came out. Uh, Talisca was extinct when he first came out during the secondary leagues of Team of the Season earlier on. I, I don't expect Julian Alvarez to stay extinct for that long. I do think that he is going to drop down in price. I think he's going to get supplied, um, and he's going to drop down, but... For right now, he's really expensive. And the rest of the players that are in this squad, you know, they're okay. Um, I think you've got a... You actually, one of the most interesting cards in this team. I want to show you guys this. Where is this guy at? His name is like Catalan or something. He's a 93 pace center back, but he has high-low work rates. Yeah, 93 pace center back with high-low work rates. Two-star, two-star. So th there's some... You know, with these cards too, it just might be fun to put a couple of them together, try them out on a team... Uh, and it's going to be really cheap because besides like the top two cards, uh, these all these guys are, are really cheap. Junior, this guy's 53,000 coins, 95 pace, 93 shooting, 94 passing, 94 dribbling, four star, four star, pretty sick in games. 
uh, you know, they, they just might be fun to try. So that's what I would say for combo cards. Nothing super crazy about those. Also, yesterday we had the Schmelzer uh, End of an Era SBC, which was a solid card. And it makes it three days now in a row with an End of an Era with Di Maria, Insigne, and now Schmelzer. Nice card. I still think that Alfonso Davies is better, although this card is more of a center back type, type item. You know what I'm kind of getting here? I'm getting the Bender Bros vibes from, uh, was that last year? Either FIFA 20 or FIFA 21, we had Lars and Sven Bender both get end of an era cards, and the right back was the one that was so good, position change to center back. I think that was last year. So medium high work rates, 95 pace, uh, again, would probably make a pretty good center back, five foot 11, he has got 84 heading and 93 jumping. So yeah, I mean, probably make an agile center back, maybe if you're running a three back, might be fun to use as an outside in a three back or in a five back formation. But I think a lot of people will see this card as a cool item, not super crazy, but it's only 100K to do really cheap. I have zero problem with that one right there. With the last one that we have, we have one more leak and we've looked at it already, but I'll show you guys again here really, really quick if I can find the tweet. I think, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be today. I don't know if it's gonna be on a Wednesday. Um, where's it at? Mark Noble. This is the this is the only other end of an era card besides like Aguero and all this stuff from earlier on that right now I don't think we can value as an actual leak. We'll see. Uh, we'd have to see it dropped or more leaks about that stuff if we're going to expect it. But I really would only expect this Mark Noble card to be the next end of an era as of right now until we hear anything else. I know some of you guys have been talking about a Marcelo end of an era. And I'm just here to say today that yes, I've seen Marcelo's price drop off and I'll take a look at him on the market. Uh, I, I I don't think we're getting a Marcelo end of an era. I mean, we there's been some concepts thrown around. Everybody wants Marcelo to get an end of an era, um, but there is no concrete evidence that he is getting a card. There are some concepts on Twitter that I've seen, but let, let me again, just tell you that concepts do not mean leaks. So this guy's price was down at like 1.1 mil. He's now back up to 1.3 as people have bought this card back and he's just super rare. Um, I, I don't know if he's getting an end of an era. It's definitely not leaked right now, a legit leak. It is only predictions and hearsay. So that's the one thing that I would just give a word of warning. But a Marcelo end of an era would be, that'd be a game changing card. Imagine a, a Marcelo with better stats than this foot captain's version. I want it. Let, don't don't let me tell you that I'm not against it. Like I would love a Marcelo and Um, I just it's not like a leak right now. That's just a prediction from some other people. So speaking of the market though, and speaking of price predictions, uh, ultimate team of the season cards. We talked about it in last night's video. We were saying, man. These cards are really, really cheap. Now, I went out and I bought some cards last night and I sold them too early. I went out and bought Ben Yetters at 1.1 million coins, under 1.1 actually. I was able to snag, uh, I bought five Ben Yetters like right in here from 1.01 to 1.07. And then I sold them all like right here at 1.2. He's still 1.2, he's not dropping anymore. And then the biggest mistake that I made was I bought Jude Bellingham at 1.1 million coins sold him at like just under 1.2 for a small profit because I saw him getting listed. Um, and now he's 1.3 mil just because he's a super duper rare card. The, the reality is, is that a lot of these ultimate tots cards, they're just starting to rebound back. And I think the reason why they're rebounding, like we said at the beginning of the video is the, the, the panic, the intersection of panic and supply. We, we kind of hit that point. There was so much panic as people were watching the prices drop, drop, drop on Friday. And then yesterday, and then they woke up uh, you know, not even on yesterday, on Saturday. Uh, but on Sunday, it seemed like these cards kind of started to level out. Some of them went a little bit lower. Uh, you had Paqueta go down to like 670K on the PlayStation. He's now rising back up. Now, I'll give you guys this little bit of advice. I think that, yes, these cards have started to rise back up, but I think they could keep going as well because I think our lowest of the low points might have been on that Saturday time frame, And, you know, even as you look at these cards today and you watch them, Taylor Hernandez, the lowest that he's been was like 680, 690. He's, he's still 710. He's still kind of low in my opinion. And there's still a couple of these cards that I think are not terrible buys by any means. Like I was thinking about getting a Marquinhos for my team at like 400 and hopefully like 420K. He's now up to like 440, 450. Um, you know, I, I think these cards are going to continue rising because People are seeing the prices went so low, they wanna buy them for their teams, and they know that the lining grounds are ending and that the stuff that really causes panic, uh, panic selling, like 
the, the big price drops are, are over. So again, I think that some of these Ultimate Tots cards, if you want to buy them for, the te for your team, yes, some of them have started to go up in price a little bit already. Cancelo was like 360 yesterday. I think he's still right around like 360 or 378,000 coins where he is right now. I think that most of the cards in this team are probably going to start rising up even a little bit more today. Unless we have some crazy leaks or some crazy content, I think these cards are going to start rising even a little bit more as we head into this week. That was kind of the low point for Ultimate Tots cards uh, last year on some of the really rare ones. I think that could be the same case this year as well. And, and even as we look back to some of the more rare cards from like La Liga team of the season from earlier on this year, you know, they were their cheapest like the expensive cards like Pedri and Modric, those guys were the cheapest um, early on in the week. So also with other out-of-pack uh, cards that are not, of course, a part of ultimate team of the season, but they're down a lot. Maybe a Hyunmin Sun or maybe a Sadio Mane. Some of those cards, since their prices have been corrected, right, with the prices dropping on the market and everything going on there, I think you could start to see some of these cards catch an upswing uh, as well like i bought a suarez last night suarez is not of course an ultimate team this season i bought a suarez at 720,000 coins sold it at 820 and suarez is what right now he's like 780 so if i saw suarez get back down to like 740 maybe or like 750 i would think about buying him again because i think that he's rare enough he's good enough and he's not in packs and with the market seemingly starting to rebound a bit that would be a card that I would want to keep my eye on. So there's no real rhyme or reason to the cards that I have here on my transfer list, but just kind of checking a couple cards um, and I'm watching them because I think you could see a, a few more rebounds on those. So if it's especially if it's a buy for your team, I think these prices are solid. I think it's a great time to go out, snag one or two of those to finish off the team that you want to use and either finish your weekly games or just enjoy having the end game team that you want to have. Speaking of weekly games, we are 4 and 0 at the moment with this absolutely incredible squad. It's so fun to use, man. Seriously, uh so 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 fun to use. So I'm having a blast with this team. Quillabali is fun, Insigne is pretty fun as well. He's got five contributions in three games. I love that. And then here's the best that I got from my moments pick yesterday. We'll try to work him in somewhere in the squad. Maybe we'll sub him in on the right side uh in game. We run 3-5-2 with a little bit of a different tone. We have Messi in the middle and Mbappe out wide. But if you want to see me play some more games, twitch.tv slash the foot account. We'll be playing a little bit today. And of course, watching the daily content and probably doing some upgrade packs because that's what Mondays are for during team of the season in foot 22. Hopefully they drop some good packs today. A lot of SBCs to craft, more end of an era's EA, just, just drop it all. It's June. It's like end game. Drop us all the SBCs. Give us something to be hyped for today on the game. If you guys are hyped for upgrade packs again and you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.